Hi there friends, it's Stefan from Codeblock Empire and today we are going to learn how to build a table of content for a blog with the next 14 and Sanity CMS. For this tutorial I'm going to use a blog which I've built in my previous video so make sure to check that out, link will be in the description. But of course, if you're already building your blog with Sanity, this lesson will be really straightforward so you will be able to implement this solution within your blog easily. Alright, let's jump into coding. Now we are here at Sanity Studio CMS. So as you can see, I have a couple of blog posts here and the important part here is this body. In this body, we have uh, multiple headings with text, images and so on and so on. If I go back here to my website, we will see that I have generated this table of contents dynamically. So if I click here, it will go down there. I can go back if I click here, it will drop me to this heading. So I decided to create this tutorial since I received comments and messages about implementing this feature, this blog we created. And uh, in the next couple of videos, I will be focusing on SEO and next 14. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, I'm here at my blog post page. So as you can see under the posts, Slack and the page. So let's now quickly go through this code. As you know, we are using Next.js 14, so we are using server-side components here. And because of that, we are able to directly query our Sanity CMS with this query function. So based on the post slag, we are getting all this data. And down there, we will see this portable text component from Portable Text React. That component basically helps us render uh, the specific data which we are getting from Sanity. These are blogs and, and different types. Something like Markdown, but a bit more complex. All right. Now, what is our approach here? Well, basically, we need to somehow go to this body and loop through, go through all the headings. So we need to find them first and render them as the links here. And why links? Well, because what we want to use anchor tags, so we are able to go to the different, the specific part of the pages. So this kind of thing. And that leads us to our second step, and that is to then go through all our headings and append IDs to them. This will be ID, for example. All right, now let's go back to our code. Now, how to get headings? Well, I have two options here, two approaches. So first one is to manipulate our post body and find all the nodes and search for nodes that are equal to heading, that contain heading, something like that basically. And the second approach is to query directly our Sanity CMS for headings. So I think that that's one, it's much easier. So what I'm going to do is first copy this here, this is our base query, and go to our Sanity Studio division to test this out. Let me just paste it, and I want to remove this, this, and this. Okay, now here we are going, going to add slug variable, so that will be this thing here. Let me just paste it and Let's fetch date. So as you can see now, if I go here in body, this body is array of elements and this first element is of type block and it has children. Inside these children, you will see this text which says introduction. And if I go back here, this is our first heading. And how do we know that? Well, based on this style. So this is H2 style. If you go down there, Let's say this one, style h3, so this is style, this is heading also, of course. So inside children, this is array. First element is text, has text, which is what's next, and so on and so on. So when we know this, what we can do here is, let me just open up a query, square brackets, curly brackets, sorry. Uh, and let's type something like this. Okay, what we want to return here. 
as you can see this is all of our return but what I want to do is actually say something like headings so this will be a new key and inside what we want well we want a body and the key is style so style which is equal to h2 let's say and fetch okay we only have one h2 in this blog post so this is true then what we can do style also can be h3 let's say fetch and here are our headings all right this is fine but as you can see it's repetitive work so what we can do here is take another approach let's say style in and here we can say h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 just for us to be sure let, let me fetch the data oops sorry i have some error here let me just inspect it oh yep here we need another array okay let me just fetch perfect here we have all the headings in our blog post so i intentionally did not include the h1 because i'm not using it h1 is always one heading element on the page and that should be a title of your blog post so what are we doing here well we are searching for the style key in our body and then these keys h2 3 4 5 6 in our style so yeah that's pretty much it okay let me just copy this and go to our code here i'll go here below id and paste this comma of course save it and i think i have a console log here yes i have let me just open this a bit so this is all the posts so i don't want that i want post dot headings but we don't have it i'm using typescript so what i can do is go to this post type interface and define them here so this will be optional parameter for now and this is an array of string or we can it can be also html heading element this is fine for now okay let's go back to our page so now this post should have headings so post headings let me just log it perfect here are all of our headings this is great now let's create our toc component so let's go down there for this while we are developing i will create it here down there but after after that i will uh, isolate it to a separate component so let's say const toc that is equal it will receive some props now it can return it directly here all right props this will be headings for now let's say any type and this will be a div inside let's say h2 table of contents below h2 let's create a nav with uls all right now inside the uls we need to loop through all the headings so map heading type any for now we'll fix this later all right this is li and the key will be adding dot and now let me just go back here quickly we should have this so basically this is our heading element this is equal to this 
so it should be it should have a key this one so let me just type it key all right and let's add the class name basically some margin we are using tailing so it's easy all right here we are going to add an a tag for now here and here what we need to render well something let me just see if this is working i'm going to go here and import it over there so toc to receive headings and headings is equal to headings oh yeah we don't have them we know them as the post dot headings yep all right let's save and go back to our page and see all right we know that for sure we have one two three four five headings this is okay now how to display them well that's actually really simple if you go here you will see that each element has a children which is array and here always the first element in array will have this text and this will be a string for our heading so let's go back to our code let's go down there and here let's say heading dot children so first element of that array and dot text okay let's go back let's check this out perfect this is great now what is missing here well this h ref basically so for now let me just do it like this so this will be hash for id and here let's say let's say adding dot key so now if i save if i hover over here you will see if i click we will get this so this is okay but we can improve it by creating by adding basically a this thing over there but now we have a problem as you can see if i go here click here this is not good what we need to do is to slugify basically a create slug out of the string and how we can do that well you can install a library called slugify or you can create your own function and i'm going to do that i'm going to create my own function so let's go to new file and let's call it helpers.ts and now i will paste this thing here basically you can find this on the internet you can ChatGPT can help you really good with this kind of stuff so this is a custom slugify function it receives a string it makes sure that the type is string and then do its magic like lower casing it trimming replacing uh, empty spaces with dashes and so on so if i go back here of course this will be on my github repo so feel free to go there and check it out okay now instead of this instead of using this we are going to call our function slugify, slugify and paste here so now if i go back if i hover as you can see now we have what's dash next this is perfect i will quickly add the bit of styling here so max width should be here to excel let's say some margin order on the bit margin on the top of course everything in center i'll add a border here bit rounded in our dark mode i'm going to go with the border uh, purple 
making this with the one. And this is fine. Yep. Now let's go here. Let's say text Excel, font bold, a bit of padding, of course, and the margin. I want the border bottom, so border B and tailwind. In my dark mode, I want it to be also purple. 950. BG, so it will be amber 50, basically like uh, our light mode of the application. And in dark mode, BG slate 950 with some opacity. Okay, I think this looks fine for now, definitely. Let me just do it like this. Yeah, much better. And of course, here, let's add, add the class name on hover under line. Yep, that's perfect. All right, now, second and final step, we need to somehow dynamically add ID attributes to heading in post body. So here. And how we can do that? Well, we can use this. As you can see, this is receiving components, which are custom components. I mean, we can customize them and pass them over there. Now, let me just quickly go here uh, and search for portable react text, something like that. Yep, this is the one, React Portable Text. Now let me just go quickly here, down there. No types, no marks, but block. All right, here, as you can see, we can pass a block object and here specify our headings. So let me do that. Let's go back here. So this, my... These are types, so no types, but a block. All right, so here we can specify our element. So we can start from, let's start from H2, we don't need H1. So here, this will be a function, callback. This will be a value. Let's say any for now. And this will return us an h2 and h2 with a class name of let's say text 3 excel font bold with the margin bot okay and that h2 will be what well basically the same thing as over there so here will be a value all right dot children dot sorry children first array first element in array dot txt so let me just go back here oops sorry this is children all right now i think it's working let's go back to our page here and as you can see the styling is already applied so what we need to do now is repeat these steps for all the Headings, h3, h3, and this will be a full Excel. All right, I'll repeat this and get back to you. All right, I added this and let's go back to our blog post and see, yes, we already have formatted headings over there. So as you can guess, now it's very easy to add ID to all of our elements. So let me do it quickly. Uh, let me just select everything here. So I'm holding option key on my Mac. This will be ID. And what we need here is first to call our slugify function and inside value, basically the same, same thing, children. First element in array, then text, 
and close everything. And now let me apply a prettier and save it. And I think we are good to go. Let me go back here, reload the page and let's test this out. So if I click here, boom. If I go here and click here, boom. Perfect. Everything works perfectly. Let me just go back to test another blog. Let's see, say this one. Yes, we have three headings. Yeah, this is working well. So, yep, here we go. I think this is everything. So now, of course, you can do, uh, I will do it in my repo and push everything to, our, to my git. So I will convert this to separate component and put it in components folder. So I think that's all. And now make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be doing tutorials with Next14 and SEO. So stay tuned.